Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about solving multi-step equations, and we're going to solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation, 10p plus 9 minus 11 minus p is equal to a negative 2 times 2p plus 4 minus 3 times 2p minus 2. Okay. So what we're going to do is simplify on each side of the equation until we get down to a simple form on, on either side individually. Okay. Basically combining our like terms there. So we have a 9 minus 11, which comes out to be, well, 9 minus 11 there, uh, comes out to be a negative 2. So we have a negative 2 here. Okay. And then I'm going to find the 10p and the minus p, which comes out to be a 9p. So we have a 9p minus 2. Okay? So 9 and minus 11 gave me the negative 2, minus 2, and then 10p minus this p is a 9p right there. Okay. So now I'm going to distribute now on the right-hand side uh, negative 2 times 2p, which is negative 4p, and then negative 2 times 4 is a negative 8. And then uh, I'm going to distribute this minus 3 across, so we have a minus 3 times a 2p, which is a minus 6p, and a minus 3 times a minus 2, which is a positive 6. Okay, so now on the right-hand side, we still have to keep simplifying there. I'm going to combine my like terms again. So I'm going to bring down this 9p here, minus 2 on the left. And on the right, let's go combine our like terms. Minus 4p minus 6p is a minus 10p, and minus 8 and a positive 6 here is a minus 2. Okay, so now we have 9p minus 2 equals negative 10p minus 2. So what I'm going to do is bring my variables to the left and my numbers to the right. I'm going to add a 10p to both sides. Right here. I'm going to add a 2 to both sides. That leaves me with 9p plus 10p, which is 19p. <laughs> right, 19, right? I'm just making it worse. And then negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So be careful here. Uh, a lot of times students, when they see zero, they kind of get freaked out and think the answer is zero, okay, right away, which could be true, okay? But don't just like kind of freak out and jump there. Let's understand why. So if I divide by 19 to both sides, okay? I divide by 19 to both sides, I'm with P by itself, right? That equals zero divided by 19, which is zero, okay? So in this case, it does equal zero, but I want you to understand what's happening here. We divide by 19 of those sides. There, we still have to do that step, which gets a zero by uh, ourselves. And by doing that sh step, it shows that we really understand that, or how p becomes zero. So let's recap. We're given 10p plus 9 minus 11 minus p equals negative 2 times 2p plus 4 minus 3 times 2p minus 2. Well, what I did on the left side, I simplified my variables together, my numbers together, and got 9p minus 2. On the left-hand side, I distributed uh, both parentheses there, and got uh, minus 4p minus 8, minus 6p plus three, uh, 6. Make sure you distribute that minus sign across to both parts there. <coughs> I then simplified the right-hand side, combining the negative 4p and negative 6p to get negative 10p, and negative 8 plus 6 is a minus 2. From there, I all my variables to the left of the equal sign, and my numbers to the right. That left me with a 19p on the left is equal to a 0 on the right. I divided by 19 of both sides to get p by itself. And again, our final answer here is p equals 0.